Hey guys, welcome back to Expos Tuesday. Today we're going to talk about Chrome Pie, and it's finally compatible with Lollipop. So let's check it out. Today's module is called Chrome Pie, specifically because it works within Google Chrome. The browser itself has the functionality, and this actual module was around before during KitKat and, and Jelly Bean. But the problem with this is with Lollipop coming out, Chrome Pie kind of stopped working for a lot of people. So now, finally, we do have the functionality back into Lollipop. The developers have updated it. It's available for us to use. And the beauty of it is the fact that it way the way it works, actually, it gives us the ability of interacting with Chrome without having to overreach for this menu key on top, specifically with big devices like 5.5, 5, you know, 6 inch devices. We're going to have a limitation as far as how and how far we can overreach. There are options outside of Chrome Pie, such as maybe you know, putting a menu button on the bottom and that will give you this functionality. But it's still a list and you still have to kind of reach to hit the top part. This works very nice and it works on both sides of your screen. And actually, you're able to also initiate it from the bottom, but I've had a hard time because of my menu keys there. Uh, I wanted to show you guys how nice it used to be. This is actually a functionality that used to be present in the original browsers that used to come with you know, Android ROMs. Before uh, Google went and made Chrome the default browser on most of their, uh, actually on all of their installations. And what you need to do is you go into the modules, download the module called Chrome Pie. And if you're running Lollipop now, this will be compatible with your system. And it works quite well. Within the setups, directly in the application itself, you have just a few things you'll be able to modify. The Pi menu, obviously, it added the menu. You have the ability of adding. I have I had five before. When it comes by default, I added the sixth one for my voice search. And you can customize it by just pressing it and it takes you into the functionality. You can put that in. Uh, the other thing you have the ability to, obviously, is restarting Chrome in case you have some problems when you add a new item or you do something new to the actual settings here, you do need to close Chrome and restart it for it to take effect. The Pi menu size is just the size of the, uh, the pies, and that's basically when you're going in, you can make them bigger or smaller. I left it at the default. And then the trigger sensitivity size or trigger area size, that's usually where you actually increase it. And you can make it a little bit bigger. I increased it up to uh, 14 D, uh, dp because I noticed that I wasn't hitting it right away. Some websites do offer this and you're able to have a tint to the color of the bar on the website if this is turned on. The other thing is hiding the uh, icon in the launcher and that's pretty much done and then you can donate to the developer. One of the main functionalities that I always miss from the original browser that Google provided us was the ability to have the you know Pi controls that were built into Chrome or at least the browser that it used to be before that, the AOSP browser that we can try to get back onto our devices. But now with Chrome Pi being compatible with Lollipop, I think it's very nice. It's really easy to install and really easy to use. Again, make sure you have Exposed, make sure you have Root, install the module, even if you are on Lollipop, and then restart the device. And once you're done, just set it up. You can add new tabs, you can reorganize, change different things to the way you like them. I just like the way it implements the one-handed usability or being able to navigate through web browser, web pages very easily with one hand. And it works very well. Uh, again, it's been fixed and been updated to Lollipop and it should work, of course, on uh, any of your other installation of Expose installed or on your device. As usual, like and subscribe to this channel, like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any modules that you'd like to see, please go ahead and leave me comments in the, you know, below the video here and I'll try to put them on our next schedule. Other than that, I will see you guys soon.